Hi guys, I'm Yeldo. So, kung gusto mo malaman paano gamitin ang FL Studio from the interface, beat making, recording, and mixing, well, nasa tamang channel ka. So, let's get started and sabay nating i-unlock ang full potential ng FL Studio. Ang FL Studio ay isa sa mga pinakasikat na digital audio workstation. Ginagamit ito mostly sa hip-hop and EDM kasi madali lang siyang gamitin. However, maaaring ma-confuse ka kung nagsisimula ka pa lang sa paggamit ng FL Studio. That is why ginawa ko tong tutorial na to. I want to help you navigate through any confusion para makafocus ka lang sa paggawa mo ng music. So by the end of this tutorial, you'll have all the tools and knowledge you need to create amazing music using itong FL Studio. Let's break down the main interfaces of FL Studio. First is itong toolbar. The toolbar is located sa top ng FL Studio window. And meron itong mga tools and shortcuts to help you navigate and control the software. May kasama rin itong essential functions just like transport controls, play, stop, and record, metronome, and tempo settings. As well as quick access sa mga different windows and panels. Also, if you go sa options, then general settings, dito natin makikita lahat ng settings for MIDI which handles all the MIDI-related preferences and configurations. Audio tab, dito i- it allows you to select your audio device, set buffer length, adjust sample rate, and manage other audio-related preferences para ma-ensure mo yung sound quality at performance ng FL Studio. Dito sa general tab is it includes options for audio settings, file management, user interface customization, and other general settings para ma-optimize ang iyong FL Studio experience. Dito sa file tab naman is where you handle the file management preferences such as default project folders, autosave intervals, file types for import-export, and file associations. Tapos dito, theme tab. Dito mo change yung look ng FL Studio based sa gusto mo. Project tab naman is dito mo makikita yung project specific preferences and configurations. Info tab is dito pwede mo lagyan ng title and comments ang iyong project. So mainly sa tutorial na to, mag-focus lang tayo dito sa apat na buttons. Playlist, Piano Roll, Channel Rack, and Mixer. So sa browser, dito nakastore ang mga sounds, sample packs, and plugins. Pwede mo i-drag ang mga sound kits mo dito and it will automatically create a folder. Tapos pwede mo rin siya i-drag and drop yung mga items from the browser into the channel rack, playlist, or to the mixer. And then ito naman ang channel rack. Dito is pwede ka mag-create and organize sa iyong mga sounds and instruments. Think of it as a container para sa lahat ng individual elements that make up your track like drums, synths, or samples. So dito na natin ibibuild ang foundation ng song or ang beat. Just drag any sound sa browser, tas i-drop lang natin sa channel rack and then ilagay natin sa insert one. So there are two ways para makakreate ka ng beat pattern. First is by just using etong step sequencer just like this. Or by using the piano roll. Just right click and select piano roll. So itong piano roll naman is for creating and editing MIDI data. Para siyang grid-like interface that allows you na makadraw, edit, and arrange notes for your instruments. Pwede ka mag-create dito ng mga melodies, chords, and drum patterns. So after mo na makabuo ng pattern, just go to the playlist and left click para malagay ang pattern sa playlist. So ang playlist naman is parang canvas for arranging and structuring your song. Dito mo ilalagay ang mga patterns mo, audio clips, and automation clips to create the overall structure of your track. Pwede mo siya i-treat as a timeline where you can visually see and edit the different parts sa iyong kanta. And then, after na natin malagay sa playlist ang pattern, we can now adjust the volume of the pattern or yung audio sample natin sa mixer. So to go to the mixer, just click here or press F9. Dito sa mixer naman is where you blend and balance the different sounds in your project. Para siyang virtual mixing console where you can adjust volume levels, pan, 
and apply effects to each channel. So after na natin ma-familiarize ang bawat interface ng FL Studio, pwede na tayo gumawa ng beat. So for this, napaka basic lang na beat ang gagawin ko. To start, I'm gonna add an instrument. Stock piano lang to ng FL. Lagay natin sa insert 1, right click, then piano roll. Tapos right here, gusto ko makita yung mga label ng every keys. So to do that, just click here, view, key labels, all notes, and now we can all see the labels of every key. I'm gonna create a very simple pattern lang. So to copy the pattern, press mo lang ang Ctrl plus A to select all and Ctrl plus C to copy and then to paste it is Ctrl plus B. Tapos ilagay lang natin to sa playlist. Just click here or press F5. And di ko trip itong transparent look ng pattern. So you change ko siya by clicking here, view, behind clips. And then select solid. To add audio samples, let's go back to the channel rack and then add tayo ng hi-hat and then create lang ako ng pattern. I'll change the velocity kasi gusto ko mag-swing itong hi-hat. So if gusto mo i-change yung piano, yung unang pattern na ginawa ko, just click lang dito. And here, you can see all of the patterns. I want the piano to sound low. Ibaba ko lang siya siguro 2 octaves lower. Let's add another one, etong kick. Then sunod is claps. Tas 808. Select cut itself para hindi mag-clash ang mga notes whenever the pattern is in playback. So to have full control sa 808, just double click dito. Tas punta ka dito sa envelope settings, bring down attack, increase the hold, and the rest i-bring down lang natin. So by doing this, the shorter the note, diretso na siya magsistop yung sound ng 808. And the longer the note naman is it will increase the sound or it will make the sound of the 808 much longer. And then let's add a snare. That's open hats. After na natin makabuo ng beat or mga patterns, pwede na natin siya i-mix. Just go dito sa mixer or press F9. And adjust ko lang to real quick. Okay, so to make the beat slap harder, ganito lang gawin natin. Let's add a limiter, turn the ceiling all the way up, and then add soft clipper. All stack lang ito guys. And then turn up lang natin a little bit ang gain until it sounds good and slappy. And now, let's arrange itong mga patterns. Para ma-split natin to, let's go here sa patterns and select split by channel. I'll delete this and grab lang natin to, tas drag sa playlist. So we can now control or we can now build our own arrangement ng beat. I wanna add extra sounds, insert ko lang tong shatter effects. Then hinaan ko lang siya by using this clip gain.
also I'm gonna add a uh, transition effects. And I almost forgot pala my producer tag. Okay, so the beat is done. Move naman tayo sa pag-record ng vocals. To start, let's go to options, audio settings, and sa device, just select lang kung anong interface ang gamit mo. Focus right ba, UAD, or etc. In this tutorial, Asia for All lang ang gagamitin natin. Click dito sa panel and make sure na nakalow yung buffer size whenever na magre-record ka. 128 or 256 samples. Kasi if nakahigh yung buffer size mo, it will result in a greater latency or delay. If nag-mix ka, mas better naman if nakahigh yung buffer size. And then, let's assign a record track. Right click here, track mode, audio track. I'll pick itong insert 10. Tapos check natin yung audio source. Make sure na naka mono. USB audio device 1. Che, che. And we are good to go if merong signal, base sa meters. And make sure also na naka external input only ito. So before we record pala, just right click dito sa my record icon. Make sure na naka check ang disarm on stop. So what this does is after na natin mag record, tas nag space bar tayo, etong record button will automatically stop. So to record, just press R. If di gumana yung R mo, turn off mo lang tong typing keyboard. And then just select this second one. And let's record. Che, che, yeah, yeah. Sige na, tama na, akala mo titigil na Alam ko masakit, pero sige pa rin kahit na Mataas ang bakod na mukha medyo malabo pa Wala makakapigil sa determinadong paginga Maliit ang pag-asa mo, ako ay bibitaw Sa daan na namakitid, pero ang nasisigaw Ang katsaw ng mga walang narating Bakit di ka manood, dito sa akin gagawin, ay and then after that, nirename ko na yung track and now I'll change the color of it into green para ma-identify ko siya na this is a vocal track. So let's go to the mixer. I'll select all of my instruments tas isi-send ko to sa isang channel para makontrol ko yung overall volume ng beat kasi I want to lower the beat to match the vocals. So sa vocals naman is I'll just select my stock preset vocal chain para mas mapadali ang mixing ko sa vocals. And by the way, available ito sa preset store ko. Nasa description yung link. Check, check, yeah, yeah. Sige na, tama na, akala mo titigil na, alam ko masakit, pero sige pa rin kahit na mataas ang bakod na mukha medyo malabo pa. Okay, so let's say satisfied ka na sa mix mo, tas gusto mo na siya i-export. Now to export, just press Ctrl plus R. Type the name of the song, tas make sure na it's in wave format, tas naka 24 bit and naka high ang resampling. And then that's it. Just hit this start button to begin exporting. So ayun lang kadali gamitin ng FL Studio guys. I hope this helps you understand the main interfaces of FL Studio better. Remember na practice makes perfect. So keep experimenting and have fun creating music guys. So if you love this video guys, please like this video and subscribe ka na din if di ka pa sa channel ko. And thanks for watching guys. Happy mixing and bye bye.